All right, compare these two items and decide which DOK level it will be in. So this part of the room, I need you all to, to do the purple box. This part of the room, I want you to think about the orange box. Which level do you feel that this would be, this represents? Level one, recall and reproduction. Level two, um, skills and concepts. Level three, uh, planning, strategic thinking. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go on this side. So you have, um, so we're gonna pull everybody back together. You have the following set. Number 22, 45, and blank. What is the third number if the average is 57? What type of question is this? Level one, two, or three? You can put your hands up, you can shout it out, whatever you want to do. Somebody give me an answer. It's okay to be wrong. It gives you something to say other than right. I would say it's three. Level three? Why do you say it's level three? First, you have to know um, the average, like it's not going to be a big one. Mm -hmm. And then you have to be able to know what to do in order to solve a question that gives you like the average, and you have to find the missing term. So, um, I think that's still two. <laughs> I knew you were going to get to it. So, <laughs> see, sometimes you just got to let your students talk, you know, they'll get to it. Um, so, and again, I am by no means an expert. This is not a science, right? So there is no definitive, you know, this has, you know, this is level two or is this a level 2.3 or level 2.7, right? So where I would pull this to a three is to say, first describe to me in your own words how you would get to solve, how would you solve this problem? That's how I will make this a level three. It is currently, in my opinion, a level two because they're not simply getting the average. They're doing, they have to know this concept to know how to get to this number. If we had just asked what is the average of 2245 and I don't know, 67, that is a level one. Thank you for the head nods. <laughs> Determine the area of the two triangles, I don't know where they are, um, <laughs> rectangles and the uh, parallelogram. Someone on this side, Jesse, what do you think this level, um, the leveling of this problem would be? Um, I mean, you have to know the formulas for all of those, and you'd also have to understand that Between them. Um, so, based on what you just said, since they don't have to justify their explanations, I say level two. Okay. Uh oh, I saw someone go like this. <laughs> Give me your thoughts. I don't know, I'm stuck between one and two. Okay, why? Because one, I guess, would be knowing which one to use, but two, I'm thinking closer to. They have to know how to find some of the missing measurements. Like if we had given them all the measurements of all the sides they needed, then I would have just said one. Mm -hmm. But because they have to find something to get the other thing, that's why I was thinking two. Who's who's kind of in between? Who's thinking one-ish, two-ish? One. One. So we have some ones. Why are you thinking one? That's basically I was saying too because you're not given the formula. And then you kind of have to know the formulas and then you're not given all the dimensions either. So there's, a, there's an extra step just like you're not given the third number in that average. You're not given all the dimensions to find out all the lengths and widths that you need in the formula. Yes. So I would lean towards that as the reason that it's closer to a level two. As the reasoning. So so officially, parameter, area, all of that, 100% level one. No if, answer, much about it. No matter how complicated this is, the difficulty does not matter. If it is the, finding the area, that's it. The missing pieces are what makes it, not just the, the triangles, that could still, if I had every line, 
told, if I told you every line, it will be a level one, no matter how complicated this, this is. I could cut up an octagon into, what, 64 pieces or something like that. If I give you every piece and every link, it is still level one. And I know in your mind, you're like, but that's so hard. The hard, being hard does not make it a level two. It's the type of information that you need to go through in your mind, the types of process that you have to go through in your mind to get that answer, okay? So depth of knowledge is not about difficulty. It is about how much processing that you would have to do having the information, how much processing you have to do to answer it. It's not about, but that's a hard process for our students, right? Or it's not about, well, my student has cognitive delays, so it's more processing. We can't put in those caveats, okay? So this is a level two. Having all of them together, 100% a level one. And that's why I use that, because I wanted to be able to say that.